Okay, so here's the basement. Here are the steps going down to the basement from the floor where Eve's apartment is. And the, um, the handrail is really rickety. You can see it. It's not very well attached. And a lot of the tiles, the linoleum tiles, are coming up off of the treads. Also, this wall here, it's jutting out a bit, and I'm not exactly sure why, but it makes the stairwell feel a lot narrower. So we're going down into the entry alcove. And here, this open door here goes to the electric meters, and then the gas meters are up here, and this door leads outside, and that's the main water shutoff. Here are the bricks that are on the front and backs of the house, as opposed to the rubble foundation, which I'll show you in a minute. So there are the steps we just came down, and here we go into the basement. To my left is the big main room, and it's got three windows over there, and you can see the brick on that wall, while here is the rubble foundation. And we're going to wall up the foundation walls, but probably leave the bricks exposed or painted or something. So that's the front room, and I'm turning around again. This metal wall here goes to the boiler. This column right here is covering a pipe, which you can see sort of down there. So something will have to stay there, so we figured why not a column but with um, maybe narrower shelves rather than these sort of wide ones. Over here is the storage under the, <laughs> sorry, under the stairs. So there are the stairs. You can see the back of them. And there's a bit of storage here. Then the fridge is there. And the fridge is in a built-in wall. Not sure why that's there, but it'll probably stay. Next we have the gas hookup. So that's where the stove should go. The stove right now is right here. But it's not going to stay there. We'll put the stove there. And then have some countertop and the sink. This wall that we're looking at now is a wall to, that is shared with the bathroom. To my left is the boiler room. I to turn that light on. So here's the boiler room. And then we're looking back from the boiler room to the kitchen area. There's the fridge, the stove, the sink, and we're thinking about making the counter run all along this wall. Now we go down this hallway, and to the right is the bathroom. So here's the bathroom, as it is now. And um, the tiles are sort of falling off the wall, so I taped them on, but they'll all be replaced. Also the ceiling is a big mess from our previous leak, but that'll be replaced as well and fixed. And um, Hello. And there's a big mirror on this wall. And tile going up. I guess it's a little below my chest. Here. And the, um, the heating throughout is these long radiators. And we're going to have them replaced with cast iron looking old fashioned radiators. There'll be new radiators, but they'll, um, they'll look more in keeping with the house and also not be all fragile. Because these radiators, the, the wings on them get all dented up. So now we're going out of the bathroom. That room is the back room. But here is the laundry area. So there's the washer and the dryer and what will be a bunch of storage. Long closet. Um, and that door goes out to the garden. So we're going back that way. And here is the, like I said, the back room. So we've got, this here could be a big closet. There are windows that look into the well from the garden. And it's really quiet back here, surprisingly. 
this is the little bedroom area. So the wall directly in front of us is the boiler room wall, the other side of the boiler room wall. And this little area, this little um, quiet, cozy sleeping room has a tiny little hobbit door. It's pretty short. Well, you can't see it on the video, but it's pretty short. And it goes out to the hallway. So here we are back in the, oops, back in the hallway. And I guess that's it. I guess that's the whole basement tour. I'll send some pictures.